All right, currently we have our VLOOKUP function in our name cell and our score cell. And it returns the name and the score associated to this ID number. So let's say that we put in an ID number that doesn't exist in our list. For example, if I put 125 and click enter, now our VLOOKUP formulas are returning in A. Now you might be thinking that there's something wrong with your formula, but there's actually nothing wrong with the formula. It's just that it can't find 125 within our ID column. So to handle these types of errors, we can expand our VLOOKUP formula to make this error more descriptive. So if our VLOOKUP formula can't find an ID, instead of returning in A, we can tell it to return a different value. And to do that, we can combine the VLOOKUP formula with another conditional function called the IFERROR function. So if we come up to our formula bar, and at the beginning of our formula, we can type in if error and press tab to insert this function. Now the if error function requires two arguments, which is the value and then another value if the value is an error. So currently in our values argument, we have our VLOOKUP function. And we know that this value returns the name. But if we come to the end of the VLOOKUP function and type in comma, now our value if error is bold within our if error function. And here is where we can return a different value if our VLOOKUP formula produces an error. And for this argument, we could either put a cell reference or a text value. So for this example, we can put open quotes and say ID not found, close quotes. And then we can put close parentheses to close the if error function. Now if we click enter, let's see what our formula produces. So instead of our VLOOKUP function returning in A, with combining it with the if error function, now it says ID not found. Now this is a lot more descriptive than just in A because one, it actually tells us what the error means and it makes our spreadsheet look a lot nicer because it doesn't have actual errors in them and possibly making users think there's something wrong with the formulas when there's really not. So let's click the name cell, drag our fill handle down, and then make sure for the score cell, we change the column index in our VLOOKUP function back to three. And we can click enter. So now when we put in an ID number that doesn't exist, our formulas are returning more descriptive values. And if we change our ID to a number that exists in our list, let's say 115, now our formulas are returning values associated to that ID number.